Now, throughout, throughout Layla's journey, she's had an incredible support team behind her, including the Blues and those at St. Louis Children's Hospital. That team is represented here tonight to present the Extraordinary Character Award. From the Blues, from the Blues, two people who have become especially close to Layla and her family, the organization's president and CEO, Chris Zimmerman, and his wife, Emily Birch. We're also pleased to have Chris Kerber stay with us to be part of this group. Representing the medical team at Children's Hospital are Amy Tucker, Jenny Schulz, and Dr. Julia Warren. Amidst, amidst the struggle to find answers, it was Dr. Warren who diagnosed Layla's condition. Along with Dr. Jeff Badnarski and many others, they have helped Layla through her battle. So, once again, a big round of applause for Layla's support team. So, here at the Musial Awards, the recipients of the Extraordinary Character and Lifetime Achievement Awards received the sculpture that you see on stage. The special work of art entitled Remembering Stan the Man is created by St. Louis artist Harry Weber, and it's through the generosity of St. Louis-based Edward Jones that we're able to present this unique award to some unique individuals. Just a heads up for Layla, it's a bit heavy. However, we don't doubt her strength to lift it up. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the Musical Award for Extraordinary Character, here's Layla Anderson. all very much. Appreciate it. How are you? Good. How are you feeling? Everybody wants to know how you're feeling and how school's going. Great and great. <laughs> what does it feel like to be here tonight? It's a really big honor and I would like to thank everyone who is behind me right now. Not only my doctors but the St. Louis Blues organization. Those people have both helped me and without them I would never be where I am today. Layla, tell me how this love affair with the Blues began for you. Well, as I did say in that video, hockey is in my blood. <laughs> my mom is really close with St. Louis Blues alumni, Kelly Chase, Al McKenna, Brett Hull, and my dad is originally from Minnesota, so I was born to love hockey. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to meet Colton and Alexander Steen, and they became good buddies. Tell me about that relationship with those guys. Well, it originated after I was misdiagnosed twice before the life-saving doctor, Julia Warren, diagnosed me with HLH, and they thought I had vasculitis. So the only way to tell was a brain biopsy. And right after I got a brain biopsy, I thought I looked like Frankenstein, and I didn't like the way I looked. So my mom said, okay, who does Layla love and who's gotten beat up? Kelly Chase. <laughs> <laughs> and Kelly Chase went to the hospital and brought Alexander Steen with him. And right then and there is where the connection formed. And Steener introduced me to the rest of the team. And Colton Pareko's rookie year, I went to an autograph signing, just as a fan and wanted to get his autograph. I thought he was a great player and he was one of my favorites. And uh, go forward to 
2018, uh, there was the Blues Halloween game, and I figured, okay, I'm going to be that oddball, and I'm going to wear a taco costume. <laughs> and I'm going to have a sign saying, hey, Colton, can this taco have a stick, please? <laughs> and uh, I did receive a stick, and uh, a couple days later was the Halloween trick-or-treat event at Stufeld Theater, which all St. Louis children's kids knew was Louie's going to be here, and we're just going to go trick-or-treating, and nothing's going to happen about it. And little did we know, all the players were there dressed up. And everyone on that team, oh my gosh, you're the taco from the game. You brought us the game winner. You're our good luck charm. <laughs> you're the good luck taco girl. So that was my name for a while. <laughs> and at that event is when I hit it off with Colton. He dedicated his whole time just to make sure I had the best night of my life. While my mom and her friend Irene were sobbing in the corner, while my, oh my gosh, Colton's so nice. <laughs> Why is he doing this? <laughs> and uh, that is just the type of person Colton is. He is the sweetest person, and hockey people are just different. Layla, I think, I think what's, what's so impressive about you is your poise. We had Sister Jean here last year. She's about 90 years older than you are. <laughs> she was never expecting the spotlight on her, and she always handled it with such grace. And you do the same thing. Where does that come from? Well, uh, that's all I know. That's how my family is. That's all I've been taught is, well, after I was diagnosed with HLH, Basically, there were two options. I could go through all this treatment and go, oh, what was me? Why did this happen to me? And I could have gone the other route, which I make the best of it, and I spread as much awareness and help a lot of people. So maybe they don't get misdiagnosed twice, or they have the courage to keep going. And that's what I chose to do. Yeah, and so, you've done it so well. Thank you. Tell, tell everybody about Be The Match. So Be The Match is a registry where, especially for bone marrow, you can, it's really easy. You swab your cheek and you can see if you're a match for someone. And it is so easy for the person who is swabbing. It costs us, the patient, and the donor nothing. Be The Match pays for everything. And it is really, really expensive. So if I have one word for everyone is please donate to Be The Match and help save more kids' lives and help give more kids and more adults the second chance of life like I was given. Okay, the Blues won one Stanley Cup. Can they do it again this year? Make it to the playoffs and we'll go from there, so we'll yes. Go from there. Give me five. Way to go, Layla. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll have someone move that out. Thank you.